I'm Dawn from Yankee in the Hall. Guys, you gotta watch JB in the hills, guys. Hey guys, today we are in Pigeon Forge, Tennessee, getting ready to head into the old mill. Now we normally come in here and have lunch or dinner, but today we are gonna have breakfast. We're pretty excited to see what they have. So are you ready, Bobby? I'm ready. Let's rock and roll. Let's rock and roll. Well guys, we got here early to try to get, so nobody's in here yet, but everybody is starting to roll in. Place just opened it's a couple minutes ago. We're upstairs. There's Bobby over there. <laughs> got a window seat, we can't see anything. No, all the trees grow. All the there. trees and, and that little bear salt and pepper shakers. Okay guys, let's check out the menu here at the old mill. It says it comes with a single serving of orange juice, an old mill, banana nut muffins. There's the orange juice and the muffins are coming. The old mill country breakfast. Thank you. All right, thank you. And they just brought the muffins. Open that up real quick, Bobby. Let's take a look at them. They should be fresh. Can you get for you to drink Oh, thank you. Guys, I had to stop for a second. They put hand sanitizer on my hands. How cool is that? But I'm getting the old mill country breakfast with the three meats. There's our old mill biscuit breakfast. You see there are the prices for that. You get two eggs, it's $10.49. Hot off the griddle. There's your pancake breakfast. And your cinnamon raisin pecan French toast breakfast. Now that's what Bobby's getting. He says the homemade cinnamon raisin pecan bread is made from the Pottery House Cafe. It's right across the street. It's got good stuff. And there's your omelets. You got cheese, vegetable, and southern. And there's for a lighter morning, some oatmeal and other stuff. And there's your kids' menu. And over here are all the beverages. Down here in the corner is a picture of the old mill. Okay, we have some banana nut muffins. Now they give you this. I don't think you need them because they're going to give you so much food you're not going to be able to finish anyway. But got a little bit of strawberry preserves and butter, but I'm going to try without anything first. Yeah, that's what I would do too. Yes, so I'm going to put it up. Well, it's warm. Just Here we go. Fresh, definitely fresh. Just, just open. Oh, thank, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I'm gonna try the uh, strawberry on this other piece. I'm gonna put a lot of it on there. So tasty. I mean, that's strawberry. Adds to it. The problem is, if you put that on there, you can't taste the banana. It takes away from. It. Look at all this food. There's your three meats. That's your home fries, sausage gravy, grits, biscuits, and there's Bobby's French toast. I mean, hey guys, look at all this again. I mean, I don't want to start. Let's just start. I'm gonna start with a ham. I like ham. Let's just get him. Ham. Flavorful. It's got an excellent flavor too. It's like country ham. Got some uh, sausage. I 
There's so much food, there's already a place to even cut it. I know. There's not. Sausage. They seasoned it really well. Is it spicy or not too bad? It's a little mild. I mean, mild. Right now I can taste it. It's a little spicier than what you probably like. You like the real mild, don't you? But, I mean, it's... Yeah, it tastes heavy eggs. Got them scrambled. It's easier to eat. Scrambled eggs are easier Yeah, because you could have got them sunny side, mm -hmm. too. But, yeah, I, I agree with you. The scrambled eggs are sometimes easier with all that. That's great. So... But I do like, uh, if I have pancakes, I do like a sunny side egg on it to eat together. <laughs> oh, fries. I mean, look at this, guys. I mean, how they expect me to eat all this? Those are crispy. A little bit of seasoning on them, not a lot. I like the crispy, they're definitely done. I want to see you try those grits. I don't know if I'll like grits, but oh, and we got uh, pancakes with these miniature pancakes. Just getting gravy. That's what I said. I like to put uh, a yeah. sunny side egg on top of mine. You I want can some syrup? I'll try one real quick. We'll be here all day if I try all this food. <laughs> yes, we will. This was what? Uh, 12 $12.99 for all. You could almost split this. Yeah, we could have split it. Mm. Fluffy. I'm not a huge pancake eater, but uh, they taste good. I like them. Okay, I think you tried everything. You tried your potatoes. I haven't tried the sausage gravy. All I'm right. just going to do it. Try to. I'm just going to taste it. Okay. I'm taste the sausage gravy. I don't know what you know. Gravy is one of my favorite things. I'm not real good at making gravy, though. My mom is excellent at it. Creamy. Kind of taste of it. You can taste the sausage in it, the pepper. You have your nice biscuits. Yeah, there's some biscuits go with that go with it. They're soft. Yeah. And then you want to try yep. those grits? I'm going to try them. Let me see. Well, they're just like. Now, I like cornmeal really that they're... is. <laughs> then you, you make the cornmeal and then you set it up and fry it. I'm not sure if that's the same you thing or not. Spoon, wouldn't you? Yeah, I would try it with a spoon. It just shows we don't even know how to eat them. Never had them. So I had them one time in Memphis. Oh, we did try them. Was I tried them. Here we go. You wouldn't try them. Mm. Well, it tastes all right, but it's not something that I would get. I wouldn't get. But not a bad taste. Not a bad taste, but I wouldn't get. Okay. Bobby's going to try her raisin pecan French toast. Okay, I'm going to set mine down. I don't have... I can just cut one at a time. I'll try this maple syrup. Your stuff's easier to get to. You don't have food it, all over the place. <laughs> I just ordered this. But I'll probably end up helping Johnny. Let's move this out of the way. There we go. Can you see? I can see now. I'm going to turn this so I can cut it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks. Boy, the service is quick here. Yeah, they are. Keep She's just very nice. friendly. Yeah. I mean, we got in and our food came out really Yeah, it was super fast. fast. She's been back at the table two or three times yeah. already. All right. So, got the raisins in it and pecans. Yeah, we like pecans. <laughs> yes, I do. I put a lot on here. That's dripping, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> great flavor. This bread is excellent. And like you said, you can buy the bread over yeah, the Yeah, the pottery store. house. I like the powdered sugar on it. It's not too sweet. Well, you know it's fresh. I like the pecans. I love raisins. Are you glad you ordered that? Yeah, I am glad I ordered this. A lot of the things I like in there. All in one. All in one. Why don't you try the grits? I want to see you try these grits. Because we're in the south. And everybody eats them down here. Like I said, I tried them in uh, Memphis one time. And they're not my favorite either. Okay. All right. They remind me of uh, 
just a hot cereal, kind of like cream of wheat. I wonder if you put butter in that or something. I'm I have no sure. idea. Um, so if you guys like grits, you can just leave it in the comments, but I don't know, for us, yeah, it's not, not something sure that would we would get, get them. Maybe if we were raised on it, we would be used to it, but not something I would get. Okay, we got a lot of food to eat, so we're going to try to start eating it all. I forgot that the bacon was hidden down there. Try it. Got a great flavor to it. Now, it's not overly crispy, so some people like their bacon really crispy. I like mine crisp. I kind of like it like that. I mean, it's not, yeah. not, not real crispy. Yeah. I like mine a little crispier. Uh, now, which is your favorite out of the ham, sausage, and the bacon? Sausage, uh, and I love ham. You guys know I love ham. That's probably my favorite. But here, the sausage is better than that. But ham is, is really good. But I like this sausage. Guys, I just wanted to come back on and tell you about this ham. I love it. But if you don't like a lot of salt in your ham, you probably don't want to get this because this is definitely country ham with a lot of salt. In it. I like it. So Bobby's going to try the biscuit with the gravy. I'm just going to dip it. <laughs> Gave me a lot of it. I like it. I think it's a sausage gravy, right? Yeah, sausage gravy, yeah. It is very thick. I like mm -hmm. sausage gravy. Like I said earlier, I like gravy. I'm just not very good at making it. I'm going to put some gravy on this biscuit. So let's try it together. And that gravy is thick. The biscuit's really light and fluffy. That gravy on there. A little bit of sausage in there. Yeah. Always I like gets it. a good flavor, doesn't it? But I just want to say again, this is a huge breakfast. I think we could split this. Probably yeah, we could have. Probably could have split this meal. But we wanted them to see. Once what all they have, some different things. And, uh, and there's just plenty here. I want to introduce you to our waitress who was excellent today, and I can't not pronounce her name, so she's going to tell you her name. It's Valeria. And I'm from Mexico, and thank you so much for everything. Well, thank you. You've been all over this place today. Thank you. Here is today's bill. $2.99 for coffee, $13.99 for the big country with the scrambled eggs. Bobby's French Toast, $9.99 for $29.87 total. Check out all the pies in there. And they're making a bunch of stuff fresh back there. This is the Old Mill Complex. There are a lot of buildings here. There they are. Got your general store, the restaurant, the pottery house, a creamery, sassafras, pottery, candy kitchen, farmhouse kitchen, distillery. And you can get the trolley and you also have Patriot Park. You spend half a day here. The Old Mill General Store. That's where you can buy what preserves and flour and everything in here, can't you, Bobby? Yeah, and the bread from your, your experience. They're in there making it now. Where Bobby's bread came from from her breakfast this morning, and we came in here for lunch, and we're gonna we'll link the. Uh, vlog from that with this video in the description it's back there we have a creamery in here and a sassafras it's a jewelry and accessory store and there's your pottery come out here and get some ice cream and just sit sit in these tables listen to this nice fountain so we'll just walk on down here show you guys what else is down here There's a candy store down here. Looks like they sell kettle corn in here. Over to the uh, right, you can catch the trolley. 
There's a distillery over there. And Patriot Park's over there. Put a lot of Christmas lights out there in Patriot Park in the Christmas season. Yep, there we go. The Old Mill Candy Kitchen. And they're making some. Let's see if we can see it through the without the shadows. Hard to see in there. Yeah, it's hard to see in there. And there's a farmhouse kitchen all the way on the end. Love all the beautiful flowers down here. They're clear across the bridge, aren't they, John? Yeah, all the way down. They always do a great I job down here. Look at all those different ones in there. Bobby asked me to come over here and take one of these hanging baskets home with us. Let's take a look at them. Oh, they are. Look at that. Which one do you want, Bobby? I like them all. All right, I'm going to put you on my shoulders. We can probably, we can hang out over this ledge right here. We might be able to get to this one. So we're going to have to put the camera down to get to this, guys. Just left the old mill, and as always, that place never disappoints. What did you think of it, Bobby? Breakfast was excellent. We've never had the breakfast before, but there was so much food that they give you, don't they, Paul? Way it's too much. Way too much. So if you go away hungry, that's your fault. Yeah. And our waitress, she was so sweet. Lovely girl, wasn't she? She was. was. Bought the hand sanitizer. I've never seen yeah. that done. She gave us hand sanitizer before we ate, and then she gave us some more after we were finished. The only sad thing about this place is, like we said, too much food, and if you're down here doing stuff, you can't take it with you, really, because it'll spoil it. A great place to come. So if you like this video, give us a thumbs up and subscribe. Yeah, so until we meet again, J&B have left the building. building.